Welcome back, everybody. We're about to embark on a journey, a descent into the heart of darkness, exploring the sinister tales and haunted corners of this nation. We're talking about the places where the veil between our world and the next is thin, where the echoes of tragedy and terror linger in the air, where the unexplained becomes terrifyingly real. Hold on tight because we're diving headfirst into America's most haunted places. This isn't just a house, it's a symbol of unimaginable horror. The Amityville Horror House. In 1974 this unassuming home became a blood-soaked crime scene. Ronald DeFeo Jr., driven by something dark and sinister, took the lives of his parents and siblings in cold blood. But the horror didn't end there. The Lutz family, who moved in shortly after, were driven out by what they claimed were violent, demonic forces. Unexplained noises, foul odors, and even reports of ghostly apparitions plagued the family. The Lutz's story sent shockwaves through the nation, cementing the Amityville house as a breeding ground for paranormal activity. Whatever happened here, the scars of evil are deeply embedded in this home's foundation. We're going inside, and we're bringing you with us. Imagine a house with staircases that lead to nowhere, doors that open to brick walls, and windows that look into other rooms. This isn't a haunted funhouse. This is the Winchester Mystery House. Sarah Winchester, heiress to the Winchester Rifle Fortune, was a woman consumed by fear, haunted by the spirits of those killed by her family's invention. Driven by grief and guided by a psychic's advice, she spent 38 years continuously building and rebuilding this sprawling mansion. It's said she believed the constant construction would confuse the spirits and keep them at bay, but did it? The Winchester House is a labyrinth of architectural oddities and unexplained phenomena. Footsteps echo in empty hallways, doors slam shut on their own, and cold spots send shivers down your spine. Is Sarah Winchester still trapped here, forever building, forever running from the spirit she desperately tried to appease? We're about to unlock the secrets of this architectural enigma. Chapter 3. LaLaurie House behind the walls of madness. Step into the French Quarter of New Orleans where elegance and darkness collide at the infamous LaLaurie House. This grand mansion was once home to Madame Delphine LaLaurie, a woman known for her lavish parties and her unspeakable cruelty. Behind the opulent facade, a sinister secret festered. In 1834, a fire ripped through the mansion, exposing a horrifying scene in the attic. There, authorities discovered slaves chained and tortured, subjected to unimaginable atrocities at the hands of Madame LaLaurie. The public was outraged, but Madame LaLaurie escaped justice. Some say she fled to Paris, but others believe her tormented soul never left the mansion. To this day, the LaLaurie house is shrouded in unsettling energy. People report hearing screams and moans echoing from the attic, and some claim to have seen apparitions of Madame LaLaurie's victims, their pain and suffering still etched on their spectral faces. We're stepping inside this house of horrors, seeking answers and confronting the lingering darkness that clings to its walls. That's all we have time for tonight, but our journey into the shadows of America has just begun. We've only scratched the surface of these haunted places and there are countless others waiting to be explored. Remember, the next time you think about the unexplained, the things that go bump in the night, you might be closer to the truth than you think. Keep those eyes.